Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to a new Diablo 3 video. Today I wanted to go over a couple of changes that they made to the loot system in Diablo 3. This is actually a patch day, it says upcoming loot hot fixes, but as you can see it is already alive in all regions. And it's actually a slight little patch that is completely alive all over the world right now, that changed quite a couple of things, most specifically about the rifts. Now the thing with rifts is that when you do them in Diablo, you can spend a ton of time but most of the time they don't really seem that rewarding. Like finishing a rift doesn't really change a whole lot. You may get like a, a couple of blood shards, but rolling with blood shards doesn't really give you much of anything. And you know, just completing a rift in general is not very rewarding at all. So they changed a couple of things. Uh, first and foremost, what they're gonna do is basically make rifts a lot more rewarding and everything that is not rifts less rewarding. Besides that, Trading in blood shards, so actually going for a little bit of a gamble, gives you a much higher chance from now on to get a legendary. Let's have a look at what exactly is changed. The bad. Unique monsters now drop less items. So any kind of blue or elite pack will now drop less items. Um, they were doing a lot more. As you can see it says uniques were dropping far more loot than their difficulty would warrant. And also chest spawns have been thinned out completely, where you basically will not see nearly as many chests as you would usually do in the game, but they are going to be a lot more rewarding when you do actually see them. The good part right here, I actually already like these two things, they are actually already good, but <laughs> apparently the uh, so-called good part by Blizzard Entertainment says the bonus legendary drop rate for rifts is increased from 25% to 100%. Now that doesn't tell you a whole lot, uh, because obviously 25% from what to 100% from what is not necessarily like a, a quadrupling in the, uh, in the drop chance, but it basically means that right now the drop chance of any kind of legendary item in the Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Rift is significantly higher than it used to be. Whereas maybe before this it would have been better to actually do some bounties and get these Rift points but don't really use them. So right now it is indeed going to be a lot more efficient to actually do the Rifts because they will give you a lot bigger chance to get legendaries. And also from now on the um, Blood Shards legendary drop rate has been significantly increased. I've personally traded in probably like 5,000 of these damn things and I've gotten one legendary from them. Well, from now on, it says significantly increased, so we're going to have to believe Blizzard on their word for that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to let you guys really quickly know that rifts are going to be the very best thing to do right now for farming. Instead of doing Mango Maw all over again for 24 hours a day, it's probably not really going to be worth it. So make sure to hit up those rifts, use up those rift points that you got, trade in those blood shards because the limit is 500, and I know a lot of you will probably already be maxed out at 500 500 just because of the fact that it's not very rewarding but from now on it apparently will be so thank you guys all for watching this video have an amazing day do not forget to smile and i will see you in the next video Bye. hello everyone my name is loco and welcome to a new game of starcraft 2 heart of the swarm today we're gonna take a look